everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well. I've just popped on quickly tonight to share with you my first ever pop-up box card. Matt wanted to make an Arsenal card for his friend. We had a little look online and he saw a pop-up box card that was different to this, but he liked the idea of it. Um, and so I've just adapted it based on what he wanted in the card. So I've used plain white A3 white hobbycraft card and I just followed a tutorial on YouTube for the dimensions and then I've just bought some red sheets of card from Hobbycraft just to cut up to make the panels obviously for red and white for Arsenal so on three sides I kept the panel separate but on one side I kept one long panel so this is the back of the card and then it just gave it a little bit more strength so I wrote happy 30th birthday using one of my Dovecraft pens which I can't see at the minute but it's one of these pens one of these metallic markers but it's just the silver version and then he just wrote a message to his friend. And then when you open the card, this is what it looks like. So these three flaps fold down and then that is the card itself. So three of these sides inside I kept just white, but that one you can see it goes all the way down. It's the same size as that and it just gives that back a bit of strength, stop it flapping down as well. Um, his name's Lee obviously, so I've written Lee and 30 using some Poundland thickers and to make the shirt I had to freehand that so I literally drew a t-shirt shape on white card and cut it out, traced around it onto red but then cut off the sleeves and the neckline and then stuck it on silver and cut around that for a little border because it didn't stand out on the red. Um, so that worked out quite nicely actually and it's like the perfect size for that little panel. I think because I started with a piece of white card the same size as this little red section so it just worked out really nicely. Um, these are two little paper mania stars. I absolutely love these gemstones. Sorry, my focus is well out, isn't it? Um, but I love those. I use them a lot. On each of these side panels, they were plain originally, but I thought they needed a little something. But obviously, I didn't want the card to be a bit girly. So I put um, these. These are from like a Christmas range from Hobbycraft. They're just foam stars in silver glitter, but I just thought they went really well. I don't normally do like symmetric on both sides, but I thought that worked quite nicely actually. And then at the front, I just wrote happy birthday in silver and put two little silver paper mania stars. I did wonder afterwards whether I should have used gold because of the Arsenal badge, but actually I like that it's silver. It makes the Arsenal badge stand out a little bit more. So the footballs I had to freehand, I just drew around them, I just drew around this little plastic tub that I was using earlier just to get the circle shape and then I just kind of got up a football clip art picture on Google and just tried to copy it as best as I could and I just did two of those just turn that one round so it looks a little bit different I actually drew it the same way um, and I've just stuck them on half inch strips of white card um, and with the pop-up card you make these like little belly band things the only thing is I've folded these bits round at the bottom there and I can't quite get them to stay so I might have to trim those and then I also freehanded the badge itself because I can't actually use my printer at the minute because I can't find the lead. So I've got the printer here, I just have an idea where the lead is. So for this, I drew a badge shape in red card and cut it out. Then I stuck that on white card, drew a little white border on both of the sides and then drew a blue border using just using a blue Sharpie. Then I stuck that on gold card and trimmed it with a really small edge to write Arsenal. I had to use one of my Posca chalk markers and I had to go over it about four times because I don't actually have a white gel pen. So that's one thing I've realised that I probably do need. And then to make the Arsenal badge, I used two different gold pens. I used this um, premium colour, deco colour pen. I can't find the lid at the minute. I need to find it to draw the wheel at the front. And I was going to use this for the background as well, but it wouldn't have the wheel wouldn't have stood out if I'd used the same pen. And then when I was looking for my Sharpies, I actually found this gold pen that is for my Cricut, which I can't use at the minute because my laptop's too old. It just doesn't work on the software anymore. So I thought I might as well use that. So I drew the back, like the actual cannon itself, using this gold. So I'm not sure how well the camera will pick it up. But yeah, you can see it's two different golds. And I just thought it looked really good. So yes, yeah, so that's my first ever, as I say, it's my first ever pop-up box card. Um, Matt's quite happy to leave this plain because he wants him not to realise that obviously it's a special card and then obviously when he opens it then he'll see all of these bits and pieces so he's really happy which is good and we'll be giving this to his friend tomorrow so hopefully he really likes it. Thank you everybody for watching, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you all again soon, bye bye.